I actually didn't I like have anything. I didn't have anything to follow that with. Yeah, I know. It was. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just being the devil's advocate. Like that's that's my whole role. Um, it's and, good. I, yeah, first of all, I want you to know. Reaction. I really appreciate you talking. You like this. Oh, and you're I, cool with this. I I dig. You're this cool with it. Yes. Um, yeah. So I'll be the devil's advocate. Do me a favor. Will you look up Steal, Kill, and Destroy Satan and find that for me? Go talk to Mary about it, and I want to show Kenton here, will you? And this is why I like this dialogue. It says that when the end times come, yeah. the old and the young will have dreams and visions. Right. Which is why I believe Satan is trying to come and destroy this place. And at the same time, I believe Jesus is at this point. When I left and went up to the right hand of God, I'm coming back. He says I'm coming back. And you know what my job is right now? Do you want to know why we're doing this down here? Is I'm getting people ready for the return of Christ. Okay. Because I believe people like you, which here's what I think. You have a heart in you. Your heart, is, your, heart and your mind is confused. And I believe I don't speak against you. I speak against the spirituals that are over you. So what I love in Ephesians 6, it says it's not against flesh and blood. It's against something bigger. So this music, these issues, man, it's not between you and me. It's about the spiritual angels that are fighting over us right now for your soul. I already know he has no room in there. The question is, is, do you want to follow the path of the destruction, which you think you like, or do you want to follow a path that brings you life? And here's what I want to say to this, and I'll let you respond. Thanks for listening. Is I believe you've been hurt by Christians. Therefore, you have based your perspective of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit on humans. And I would say that's fair, except that's not who God is. Because when you look at televangelists, you're right. They have yeah. misconstrued the yeah. Word of God. I don't follow what they say. Awesome. At all. I personally thank you for this. You're welcome. But because of that, in Luke 4, it says Jesus' main role is to come and set the captives Free. Brother, whether you like it or not, and don't take this as a judgmental, this is based on the Word of God, you are in bondage. Absolutely. No, this is true. We all are. I'm not. I'm not. Because the scriptures say, He came to set the captives free. And my question to you is, why would you like to follow, and here's how you can respond, why would you want to be in bondage when you can be set free? All right, on an interdimensional level, okay. we're, we're all in bondage. We're all in the third dimension okay. and the fourth dimension, eventually. Um, I think we're speaking different languages. Actually, okay. I know that we're speaking different languages. Okay, elaborate. Because when, when we refer to different things, we actually hear different words. Okay. Um, when, when you say Jesus, it has a completely different meaning in my mind. It has a completely different reference. Um, when I when I say uh, Lucifer, or or when I say the Godhead, or myself, it, it, it has very different references for you. And so, uh, learning each other's languages is very important. Okay. You know? Hang on, I want him to finish, and then we'll talk. He's, I'm listening. Yeah, that's 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 about that's it. Okay. John 10.10. Okay, what is it? John 10.10. 10. John 10.10, 10. all right. Kitten, this is my sister Janae. Hi. Janae, this nice is Kitten. Nice to meet you. I want you to talk to him about your vision that you saw. Okay. John 10.10. 10. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, there it goes. I want you to read that out loud for me, will you? You see I, verse 10? I, so Jesus said again, I assure no, right you. Oh, you. You can read all that, but just read here verse 10. See that 10 right there? I don't want to take it out of context. Okay, read um, through it. That's cool. Then read through that right there. And So Jesus said again, I assure you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep didn't listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. 
I have come that they may have life and have it in abundance. See, this actually refers more to the people who in Jesus' day were also messianic, also claimed to be a messiah. Uh, he's mainly referring to them when he says those who come before me. Do you think not, this is only culturally relative? Yeah. yeah. Uh, not in a bigger picture? It doesn't actually refer to, to Satan or okay. any, any sort of deity or okay. demigod. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Why don't I'm you? Sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm, no, no. That was a weird dance that, that we just did where, I, where I, I read the whole thing, was really serious, and it was like, ah! you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. So talk to me a little bit about uh, the meaning behind kitten. Um, why? Why the face? Why the why the mask? Why the facade? It's it's kind of like a spirit animal. A what? A spirit animal. Okay. Uh, do you do you know what a furry is? No, tell me. Fur fact? Tell me. Um, a furry is somebody who is in touch with their spirit animal. Okay. I I, I also. So have you have a, a spirit animal in you. Yeah. It's it's uh, I also have a tail. Oh wow, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some uh, might say weird, but that's okay. Yeah. You have an animal. Uh, it's it's generally understood in pop culture to be uh, a sexual fetish, but yes. that's a misunderstanding. Okay. Um, I think that I'm a cat. Okay. Which is obviously insane. Oh, you said it, not me. Right. <laughs> no, exactly. Woo! But embracing. I had a cat named Keebler. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> and he was really like a cat. An, like an elf. Yeah, not like a human though. Right. Um, like and 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 like, <laughs> like that, that, that insanity, yeah. that like crazy, I think it's something that's you know, like like you say, people are afraid of it. I yeah, don't, yeah. I don't I don't Christians are hesitant to interact with Satanists right. who say I'm a furry animal. Right. Rightfully so. <laughs> I would disagree with that. Okay, I, I, all right. Because I'm not afraid, and I'm talking to you. Right. No, I, I not think, at all. Because you're a person world, with a heart, man. Right. I think the world is such an insane place that makes so little sense. Amen. Why do we buy food in packages? Who put these buildings here? Um, Etc. Etc. You know um, that there should be room for people who are absolutely crazy. You know to thrive. I have to ask it. And, and please don't take this as an insult. I wouldn't dare. Have you ever been placed in a mental institute? I have not. I've, I've, I've uh, managed to avoid it. I have been put I in jail. I managed to avoid it. <laughs> you what? I have been put in jail twice for why? Occupy Wall Street. Can I Wall ask why? Yeah, for Occupy, Occupy Wall Street. Wall Street. <laughs> so talk to him. Kitten, what's your... Can I ask, do you have another Charles Russell name? Charles Elam. Charles. But you prefer to go by Kitten. I do. Okay, I'll call you Kitten. Righteous. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so tell him about your dream. You had a dream or a vision? Vision. vision. I already explained the difference. He knows. Okay. Yeah, visions are what you see right. when you're awake. When I'm awake, come on, close my eyes and I see visions. And I saw, when I have visions about a certain city, it usually has a theme. And with Asheville, the theme is hiding. And I keep seeing people hiding behind things. I see people hiding behind walls, behind glasses, behind That's kittens. Not. Right, behind <laughs> costumes, whatever. And in one particular vision, I saw a boy, a man who looked just like you, with dark hair and a pale face, hiding behind a wall. And Kyle pointed you, you out. You were late. Tell him about the and other you one. were, okay, and you, you, I'm going to say you, but this man was looking from behind the wall, and at some point he either laid down, and I couldn't tell if he died or if he was passed out, but there was just no life left in him. He was just laying down and he disappeared. Do you go around, do you see a, you, where did we sleep last night? Put, get, 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 camera, camera, camera. Uh, where did you sleep last night? Well, uh, behind uh, some dumpsters. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. I want to walk to it. I want to walk to it. Let's roll. Let's walk to it. No, that's a terrible idea. No, it's not. I want to go there. No, it's not. We need to keep that space safe. Yeah. Okay, here's the deal. I won't disc. I'm not going to tell anybody. This is just a confirmation of a vision. I don't oh, I understand. I'm leaving Monday. I, I completely understand. He goes, no, that's not a good idea. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. It struck me too. No. <laughs> Let me ask you what. Okay, that's but that's but fair. fair, fair. I, I will honor that. I just want to know why can't we go there? Um, if you have nothing to because hide, because we plan on. No, we do have something to hide. Exactly. Like I actually came. No, you. Okay, I, I, I sort of jumped into something before I gave you the recognition you deserve. You're really good at that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> everything you said is completely true. I am here to hide from the NYPD because they hate my guts. Right. <laughs> right. Something that I 
that the Holy Spirit gave to me because he felt like it was important that we seek you out. And we found you. And we found you. There's a game in the scriptures that's called Lost and Found. <laughs> we found you. Yes. All right. And All I right. appreciate you talking. Yeah. So how do we end this? Uh, what would you I say? hope not with the, the, the Lord's Prayer that everybody does. <laughs> that, why, because if somebody me grabs this. me on the shoulder let, again, let, I'm going to freak let, out. Let me ask you. I already heard you over there say that offended you. I respect that. I wouldn't do that to you because your perspective of this and God is based on humans. Right. You have a hurt heart because of that. This is true. Which is why you're hiding. Which is why you're running. Which is why you flee to more of the destruction mentality than life. And all I want to encourage you with... I don't really separate the two. I know you don't, but yeah. you do. Or you wouldn't be hiding. In scriptures it says the light reveals the darkness and the darkness hides because oh, yeah? the darkness doesn't want to expose itself to who they are. I am the light that Jesus says, Kyle, shine. Shine, my sister, shine and the darkness is repelled. I wanna say, stop hiding. Because I, I want you to know something, for 40 days, I'm pretty skinny anyway, but I'm really skinny. For 40 days before I came to Asheville, I didn't eat any food. That's awesome. None. <laughs> Some might call me crazy. We might have a little that's in common. Not <laughs> that's not crazy, that's awesome. I think I lost 30 to 40 pounds. Why? Because I believe that God is sending me here to find people like you and say, stop running. And so for 40 days, I cried, I prayed, and I fasted. And when my sister would give me dreams and visions, my job was to say, God, show me where are these people that I can give them life, that I can love them, that I can encourage you. So man, I'm not gonna pray the Lord's Prayer over you if you're like, no way, dude. Call. And I just appreciate you even talking to me. And I will say this. Same to you, same to you, seriously. You know, this is reciprocal. Um, we have different worldviews. Yeah. We come from completely different places. Our vocabularies are not the same. Our values aren't the same. Still human, though. I am human. You are human. And cat. And whoa, well, yeah. I and know. cat. Exactly. I always forget the that's cat part. About. Um, <laughs> Sorry. You know that's strange to me. Yeah. Why, no, exactly. Why did you take on the cat? What brought the cat? Like, that's, where did that come from? The most concise answer I can give to that is meow. Is what? Meow. Did you say meow? Meow. It's sincere. It, it really is. I kind of believe you, actually. Yeah. When, did it, when did it start? Like, what? Did something happen in your life that created it or just from birth? Like, where did that sort come of, from? Sort of. Uh, I like cats. Do you, cats eat ca do you eat cat food? I have eaten lots of cat food. Do you use a litter box? I have dreamed about using a litter box. <laughs> Those are called sandboxes. Yeah. You don't I have it. never actually used a litter box, but okay. I have had a dream about it once. They okay. called it a litter box on the airplane today. They said if anyone needs to use the litter box, you can, the bathroom. That's awesome. And yeah. then you would say meow. 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 <laughs> Dude, I love your heart. I know we're a different world. Yeah, no, yeah. But at least you can say a guy who loves Jesus Diversity loved on tactics. you. Right? Love you. Yeah. And curses don't have anything on me. I can take that. You know that, right? Yeah. And none of my family. And by the power of Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross, there's no room for curses in my family or those that are associated with me. Okay. We can agree to that. Okay. Can we? I suppose. Can we agree to that? It doesn't matter because the scriptures say I'm supposed to bless those who hate me and bless those who curse you. And I'm blessing you, brother. I am overwhelming you with blessings. Right on. Because Sting has nothing. All right, brother. Have a good night. Thanks for talking. Just so you know, you talked to me for 34 minutes. That's crucial. That's awesome. You could say now, when you walk around with people as a cat or a human, as Charles or as Kitten, you can say at least one follower of Jesus loved you and told you about life and that you can have life abundantly. Amen? Thanks. You want me to pray for you? <laughs> I try. I try so unbelievably hard.